This video is sponsored by HP. All right, we're just gonna jump right into it. I'm excited for this video, guys. Today we have a brand new everyday carry. So basically this is a tech EDC video, things that I bring with me every single day when I step foot outside the house. Now I've done this recently in the past, but a little bit has changed and also I have a lot of new subscribers. And I also thought this would be a great video since most of these stuff are on sale right now and it's the holiday season. So these would be the perfect gift ideas for that tech lover in your life or even yourself. So the first thing up on the list is this bag right here. I've been rocking out this bag since I recently got it at this Mercedes event. I just love how this bag looks. It has two compartments. It's a very simple bag. This first compartment, boom. I usually just keep small stuff, right? I have my USB-C charger. That's like docked off right here. Always have to have a USB-C charger. Then I have a MagSafe battery pack from Spigen that lives right into this pocket right here. And because I'm rocking, what do you call this, Invisalign, I always have to keep Tic Tacs with me, guys. No matter what the occasion is, you need these. A power brick from Spigen that also lives inside my bag. Now, inside the main compartment, we have tripod and also my Insta360 camera. I also always find myself testing out different laptops and stuff like that. And the one I've been testing for the past couple weeks is right here. This right here is the HP Spectre X360 2-in-1 laptop and it's designed on the Intel Evo platform, which I'll touch on later. But as you guys can see right here, the reason why I love this beast of a laptop is for one, it's portable. The 360 design, you could literally bend this thing up into 360 degrees. It also came with this pen right here. And this pen magically just attaches to the side. So if you're traveling or anything like that, you'll always have it on there. And if you're drawing or just using the pen to input stuff, it works flawlessly. Another reason why I love this laptop is the IO ports. So it has more IO ports than any laptop I've seen for this size. Just, just look how thin this thing is. You have a USB-A port off to the side right here, right on the left hand side and a neatly placed audio jack on the corner. Never seen that before, good use of space. Now on the flip side, we got two Thunderbolts, one right here, and also one on the corner again using that space. And then we also have a micro SD card slot for transferring or storing data. Overall, the build quality on this laptop is solid. The keyboard, amazing to type on you have this huge trackpad right here so you could input your gestures and also for entering biometric wise you have a fingerprint scanner boom now i'm right in and you also have the webcam that works with windows hello but most importantly what i'm impressed with this laptop is the performance the performance of this laptop is really good i like that also with these intel evo laptops my battery could last all day no matter what i'm doing on top of that the charging network is also fast right so you could gain up to a four hour charge for just under 30 minutes fast speeds are also recognized in the productivity department so if you're working in like the Microsoft Office Suite or you're running Google Docs, PowerPoints, anything like that, this laptop crushes it flawlessly. It won't break a sweat. Now, even like me, if you're running multiple apps in the background, for example, you have Lightroom open, Photoshop open, jumping back and forth between Lightroom and Photoshop. I find myself doing that a lot of time. It handles it supremely well. Now, in terms of the Wi-Fi connectivity, Wi-Fi 6E technology is also present on this laptop, which means you're gonna get faster downloads and upload speeds. And if you're just like in a network or an area where there's tons of different laptops, just know that your laptop will strive in those areas. Also, I didn't touch on the display. You have an amazing 13.5 inch touchscreen display and as i mentioned before you could fold this thing right up what i also love is that when it's folded the keys whenever you touch the keys on the back it doesn't input anything boom you could draw on this get your pen if you're creative you could figure out how to use this in like lightroom and photoshop like the brush tools and stuff like that that's where i find myself using the pen the most but you could also use it to just jot down notes or scribble anything you want to a couple more things i should probably talk about is the dynamic camera features bang and off and speakers that sound really good paired up with the intel evo certified platform Overall, you're gonna get a solid laptop experience and it's super lightweight, it feels good. It's, it's built really well, that's what I really like. You don't hear no creaks, no, you know what I'm saying? No, it's just, 
is solid. So if you guys are in school, working from home, and you always think you need a new laptop but wasn't really sure which one to get, I'll leave links to this one, HP Spectre X360 Twin One, down below, first link down below in the description so you guys can go and check it out for yourself and see if it would meet your needs. For me, it definitely satisfy me for whatever I'm doing throughout the day. And huge thanks to HP and Intel for also sponsoring this video, letting me test out this laptop and push it to the limits. All right, so that was everything that was inside my bag. Now let's jump on to what I have inside my pockets. So first thing first, wallet. This is what the first thing I take up because if I don't have this, I can't, I can't make it through the day. I always need my wallet. It has my ID and this wallet right here is from Exer. It's super sleek, slim profile. So the magic trick of this wallet is that, boom, slide it up. You have all your cards. I have up to like six cards in here and don't get me started on these ones. I have around four or five other cards tucked away in this corner. But if you want, if you like to bring cash, you also have this is the latch right here that you could slap your cash in whenever you want to. You always gotta bring cash no matter what. So this extra wallet, been rocking with it for years and it stood the test. So I always bring that whenever I leave the house. Next up, I've been rocking out with the AirPods Pro. So I've been testing it for a while now and I think it's pretty good. I love the new design, you know what I'm saying? Like. You could activate volume up or volume down by swiping up and down. It fits great. I still find myself picking these up off the floor whenever I'm at the gym though. So I'd always go back to my Beach Fit Pro, but if I'm outside, if I'm walking around, I wanna feel bougie, I throw my AirPods Pro in. So people know when they see me, don't talk to me. I got my AirPods Pro in. The audio quality is really good as well. Definitely worth it, especially with the new Find My upgrades and stuff like you could charge it on your Apple Watch charger, speakers on the case, it's pretty good. Might be expensive, but definitely worth it. Next up, keys. Keys, always with me. So this key is from a company, this keychain organizer is from a company called Orbit Key. I've been using it for years as well. As you can see, the leather is beaten. It's scratched up and everything, but look at this. Voila, so no more jingle keys. I know people walk around with their keys jingling, sounding like a janitor. When you have this, it's all silent. You have all your keys right here. And I do have like some key accessories. For example, I have this little bottle opener right here from Orbit Key. It works as a little box opener as well. It's a fingernail file. It's a ruler. You know what I'm saying? I also have this Yubi key accessory that allows me to sign in with Toy Fay to any of my PC, USB Type-C, Lightning port, love that. And then I just have my house keys, but it's just really nice to have everything just smushed up into this nice package whenever I want to open the door, swipe out my house key, boom, I'm in. All right, next up, we have to keep everything safe. So I have my AirTags tracking this thing. And as you can see, this AirTag has been through hell and back, guys. I've been rocking out with them. I love the AirTags from Apple. Some people use them the wrong way, but if you use these the right way to just track your devices, you can't go wrong. You could literally just ask Siri to find your key, like, hey, Siri, find my keychain. It should start ringing now. There you go. All right, next up in my pocket, car keys. So I do have the Tesla Model Y Performance, and this car key, the only reason I bought this car key is because every time I went grocery shopping, I couldn't open the trunk because Tesla's doesn't have the, the, you know the gesture with new cars when you kick on the, the, um, the rear bumper, the trunk opens by itself. The Tesla doesn't do that. So because this key, when I could press it in my pocket, it opens the trunk. And for example, like I left my phone or my phone battery dies, it's always good to have a backup key. So I always have this in my pocket, but it's really just to open the trunk. That's the only reason I got it because the Tesla's, once your phone is connected, your phone acts like a key, and you also get this key from Tesla right here. It's like a key card. You could also use this to open the car, but you just always have to have multiple ways of getting in a car, especially an electric car. You never know what could go wrong. All right, more things inside my pockets, especially during this winter time, I gotta keep the lips moist. So I have my favorite Carmex flavor. If you guys ever want to get me a gift, just get me this right here, Carmex. That's all I need, you know, flawless. So you just squirt a little out, boom. You can't have choppy lips going through the winter season, but Carmex, always have that inside my pockets. Can't leave the house without it. Next up, 
I bring two phones with me, all right? So I always have like an Android phone and an iPhone because sometimes I'm filming content and I need a secondary device. I always just need a secondary device no matter what I'm doing. So you guessed it, iPhone 14 Pro Max. Been rocking this since release. Love it to bits. Also the case that I have on here right now is the Spigen Enzo case and I've been loving this leather case. Probably the, my favorite case of the year. Like look at this, aluminum camera cutout. I've never seen that one before. New wallpaper pack, by the way, it's gonna release soon. But guys, I've been rocking out this, the deep purple colorway, my favorite color. I've rocked it without the case. It got a couple dings, scratches. I don't use screen protectors. Since I got this Enzo case around two weeks ago, that's when I started to use case. I was rocking the case, the phone caseless because I just love how it looks and feels without the case. But overall, I think the 14 Pro Max is a good phone. If you have the 13 Pro or the 13 Pro Max, I don't think it's worth the upgrade to me personally, but I appreciate the new cameras, especially that 48 megapixel raw image. It looks really good. The Dynamic Island is it's cool, but I already got over it. I don't really find myself using it that often, but overall, pretty solid phone. It's really fast and yeah, I love it. So that sticks right here inside this case. And that's the, the 14 Pro Max. In my other pocket, I have my favorite Android phone up there, the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. All right, I have it in the graphite colorway. And the reason why I love this phone is that some days I really just bring this phone with me if I just want to block out everything. Whenever I'm using this phone, I don't really find myself using it that much. It sounds like it's not a good thing, but it's actually a really good thing, right? It has this cover screen where you could go and find your like your widgets. You could do whatever you want on this. It's a cover screen right here. Answer text messages, reply to messages, see your notifications. If you really want to dive into the phone now, boom, there you go. You flip it open. The quality of this phone screen is really nice as well. You do get a little um, crease in the middle, but I really got used to it. Sometimes I even find myself playing with the crease. It's been running smooth on One UI. The cameras aren't like the best I've ever seen, but it does the job. I don't really use this phone for the cameras or anything. I mostly use it for productivity and just convenience, especially Delta modes it has like flex cam where you could put the phone down, put your hand up and you take a picture. So it's almost like a built-in tripod, but the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4, Really cool gift idea for anyone in your life who's an Android fan, or even yourself, you could grab one. Another important thing I added to my EDC recently, guys, um, is this knife, it's a handy dandy knife. Now, I always wondered why people want to have knives in their EDC videos, but since I picked up one, I realized how handy it is. For one, boom, you open it like this, and it's perfect for just opening packages. You know what I'm saying? So I always have it on my waist. All I do with this knife is open, packages so it has this clip that's on my waist right here i just clip that on my waist and guess what it has this cool feature so if you want to cut some papers or something boom we have a scissors like how cool is this i found this on amazon recently for, i have it for um, almost like since february i've been rocking with this knife it's from this company called roxon i don't know if they still sell them but it's very sturdy very premium and it's just always a good thing to have this on my waist. You don't know what could happen. I might need it to, to peel an orange or something. And it's super safe too. So it has this mechanism where once it's open, it's latched open, you need to push this down to close it in. And yeah, always have a knife in your EDC, guys. Very handy. Um, this is a very minimal everyday carry. It's literally everything I bring. I could probably touch on the jewelry. Um, this ring right here that I've been rocking recently is from Dior. You could wear it like this or with a CD. I recently got this as a gift. She gave me this as my birthday gift and I really love it. It's a Louis Vuitton bracelet. My watch right here, you guys already know this watch, my favorite watch. Well, the only Rolex I have right now in my collection is the Rolex Submariner. Reference number 124060. Ever since I've seen this watch, I just fell in love with it. I don't know what it was, but the simplicity of the watch, how it looks, it could go with every outfit. It fits my wrist nicely. Love it. It's also waterproof, right? So up to 300 meters. Submariner, classic. Unfortunately, I didn't pay retail for this watch, 
but I still got a really good deal. So hopefully one day I could buy a Rolex retail. That's my goal. But what do you guys think? Which Rolex? Do you like Rolex? Um, are you guys into watches? Which What's your favorite watch brand? I'm, I really love watches. I have a crazy watch collection. If you guys would like to see a watch collection video, let me know down below in the comments. But yeah, that's my everyday carry. Hopefully this video is helpful. Also, huge thanks to HP and Intel for sponsoring this video again. First link down below in the description to check out HP Spectre X360 2-in-1 laptop. Also, let's hit 5,000 likes. We need 5,000 likes on this video. All right, guys. Love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.